Hi, Kirtan. My name is Daphne. I'm one of the essay correctors here at IELTSpodcast.com. Thank you for sending in your essay for correction. It's a really good idea to get feedback before the art exam. really can help you to improve. So this is the uh, very, very difficult question, this, about international marketing. So let's go through and I'll try and guide you. So few individuals have a perception that international marketing is harmful for the country. So few, be careful with this word, few means literally one or two. If you say a few, that's a few more, that's about 20. Uh, But be careful with this word, it's a little bit difficult to use. Uh, Have a perception that international marketing is harmful for a country. Okay, we need to say immediately here what we mean by international marketing. This essay wants you to talk about advertising. We're thinking about big companies who have the power to come in and tell, yeah, like you say down here about foreign products. Okay, It's harmful for a country, whereas others believe, we don't use this word opine, it doesn't exist. Others believe that it is a required process which trains people economically apart from its various effects like spreading of, uh, like the spreading you'd have to say. Um, But be careful because you shouldn't be using the same words as the examiner here. So you can't really say spreading. Um, I'm not sure it trains people economically. I don't think that's necessarily what we're thinking about, Um, which uh, you could say which introduces new concepts and ideas or new concepts, products, beliefs, ideas, that sort of thing. And then I want your opinion in here. Um, You need to put your opinion and then you need to put this essay. We'll discuss. Yes, you using examples from and then tell me where your examples are coming from okay and you want to organize your essay into two main paragraphs one paragraph here one paragraph here then a conclusion okay the there's um some issues here with the coherence the organization of the essay so it is not uh it needs to be organized in a, in a very specific academic way which is is, is uh important okay so Maybe you're not familiar with uh, the academic style of writing um, and or maybe this exam. Uh, so the coherence that the paragraphing is very, very important. So international marketing or advertising is a way to increase the level of competition in the host country, which eventually could help. So we don't know that for a fact. So you're going to use could help that country to go financially as well as economically. OK, nice. Good. Uh, then your going paragraph should come up here. After the liberalization and industrial revolution in India, the entry of international companies started to a greater extent. Uh, okay, that says just the same thing as what you just said before. So that's just a repetition of what you said. As a result of their manufacturing marketing strategies, Indian companies also engaged in planning strategies to reduce their production time. Okay, that's very interesting, but that's not connected to the title. Okay, um, I want you to be telling me, this is nice, Yeah, international companies, so what influence did they have? So I want to do the influence of their advertising. What did those companies advertise? What did those companies tell you to buy? What impact did that have? Was that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm thinking very simply about companies like McDonald's or Starbucks who come into a country and sell a Western way of living, which might not be appreciated by a lot of local people. Uh, The negative impact is that your local coffee shop stops trading because they can't compete with Starbucks. Uh, The positive thing might be that people learn about American lifestyle, which they might enjoy. This is really what we want to be addressing. Another important point in marketing, you don't need capitalism, there, is that awareness among young people about modernization, good, as well as technical upgrade, as well as technological upgrades, we don't have upgradation, uh, in similar products sold by foreign countries. Okay, so give me an example here. Are we talking mobile phones? Are we talking about clothes? Are we talking about technology? What are we talking about? Give me a, a real example with a real company and prove this point. Develop this argument here. Um, yeah, so even though, two words, the spread of marketing by foreign countries was undesirable, Indian population began to get attracted. So again, I'm a bit confused here because you've 
You've made a nice comment here. I want you to develop it. But here you've gone back into the past tense, which is almost linked to the history bit there. So the coherence for me is a little bit, as I said, a little bit difficult to understand. Um, you need to be writing very direct, very coherent, very clear paragraphs for this arts exam. So each idea should flow to the next idea without changing direction. And uh, don't go backwards and forwards on your tenses and things. That's a bit confusing. I like the idea, but link it to the point you've just made here. For example, people started buying Honda bikes as compared to, um, which took plenty of consumers time for delivering of bikes on time. Okay, which had delivery problems or something. Okay, which was slower maybe. Yeah, which was slower and less punctual on delivery. The special case. Okay, so that, yeah, good. That's a really nice idea. So develop it more. Yeah, what impact did that, did that have? Impact. Okay, and that, that's a, a good example. Uh, really relevant, uh, but tell me to develop it for me so I'm not asking you these annoying questions. Uh, here we go. In conclusion, uh, in my opinion, good uh, could play an important role in increasing awareness about unique thoughts. Yeah, among... Uh, thoughts introduce from foreign countries or companies to the population as well as maximize the development of a country. Okay, good. So that's a nice conclusion. Um, link it back to some of your examples. Yeah, products which are purchased from abroad. And Um, can offer any benefits and then just tell me just sum up what you've said also it's very important on the task achievement to really address these questions so you've talked about uh, a product here which is fine but what about spreading language what about watching tv in english or watching an american film um, these sort of things are all sort of indirect marketing in a way watching TV advertisements, which are in English even, uh, that spreads language. Uh, so I think it's very important to address all parts of this question. It is a difficult question, I agree with you. Um, so uh, what I'd like to mention to you today is the online course which we do, which helps so many of our students with this, uh, particularly with the writing. We cover all aspects of the exam, but particularly with the writing. Um, and we have 18 little videos that are about 10 minutes long, going through all aspects of this, of grammar, of how to develop the essay carefully, of how to respond to the question, how to really work on coherence and paragraph structure. Uh, these are very, very important aspects of the exam, uh, which we can help you with and our students find really, really useful. So today I can offer you a discount on that course and also two free essay corrections. So in total, you would have 10 essay corrections and we take you through step by step how to do these essays. But well done today and thank you.